Let's talk now about the display graph. The display graph uh, uh, is based in the idea of that each situation needs uh, a unique approach based on the concurrent circumstances. Recognizing them is key to envisage the right approach. It's also taking into consideration that teams are not used to dealing with the global picture and need to systematize the analysis to fully understand the client needs and idiosyncrasy. It's also based on the idea that human resources are limited and should be allocated properly according to the potential of the client and also intends to facilitate horizontal action. So well, with these ideas in mind, I designed what I call display graph, which uh, stands for uh, the following. D for design, I for information, S for sophistication, P for presence, L for leader, A for agency, and uh, Y for agile. That uh, makes up a matrix in which each of these uh, uh, elements is measured from 1 to, to 5. Let's go now to analyze each of these uh, elements. Default design. Design refers to the capacity of the client to generate and update uh, ads in uh, different formats, video, banner, text, etc., as well as uh, microsite, landing pages, mashups, etc. Evaluation uh, sky, a scale of uh, 5 to 1 as considered time, quality, and quantity. What we have to take into consideration when we're talking about design as a rule of thumb is we should never propose campaigns whose production cost exceeds the 10% of the advertising dollars. We must adapt the proposal to the current possibilities of the client. If video or mobile ads are not feasible in the short term, they will wait until they have to wait until the next phase. And we must get involved in assessing the design of all the elements that will affect dramatically the performance of the campaign and the highest performance, the most possibilities we have uh, to keep that campaign uh, going uh, on and on. I for information. Information refers to the capacity of the client to measure properly all the elements of the campaigns. Evaluation in a scale of 5 to 1 must consider which are the metrics chosen, uh, the depth of data and how much decisions are based on data. Uh, we don't uh, have to make installing or using the uh, Google Analytics uh, an issue because any measurement system helps uh, and we can work with third party reports. It's not a must. We have direct access to the data. So we have to not uh, to get trapped in, uh, uh, with this uh, analytic uh, uh, issue. We have to help to define real metric as to the client profile, which have sense uh, uh, from a business point of view. Less is more. Try to correlate data of different nature, queries, uh, CM, display, sales, to unveil all the cross effects of the campaigns. We talk about uh, S for sophistication, we are talking by uh, referring to the level of usage of, uh, and understanding that the client has on uh, the online marketing. The evaluation in a scale of 5 to 1 must consider what all the platform use, uh, uh, the continuity, the investment, and the level of success. <coughs> Take away skill. Uh, the proposal for sophisticated client must be built on the uh, knowledge of the online me media space, finding out the positive difference of Google. It's not about why. But now, for the rest of clients, skip simple, uh, pick up those options which could be could fit better to the client needs and explain them why and how. Never show the whole portfolio of our display alternative asking the client to choose repeat well, he will get completely lost. And so the important do not get get caught in the social media trap. Clients not sophisticated client, they are uh, uh, impressed by the new social media bus and it's really important to get rid of these values and focus on what really matters. I. P for present. Present refers to the level of usage and understanding that the client has of the offline marketing. The evaluation of uh, scale of 5 to 1, consider what are the platform uses to continue the investment and the level of, uh, of, uh, of success. It is always easier to get a significant relocation of the investment in dollars than generating especially in this uh, crisis environment in which we are living, can too rational to justify the shift from offline to online, coordinating all the platforms, using parallel metrics, get rid of the online bias. 
it's easier to influence on the print, radio, outdoor dollars, while TV campaigns should be used to let YouTube be part of the game. And important recommendation, get always on board the display the end, the media shell is the same to refine your output. Alpha leader, leader in this case refers to the existence of a top competitor in the Botica who had already embraced display advertising specifically specifically especially our solutions the evaluation on a scale of five to one must consider the level of competence uh, between the client and the leader, which are the platform use, the continuity, the investment, the level of successes of the leader. Benchmarking is key to create attraction, look for local and international example, and create a story whose epilogue is only one. If you don't react, soon you will be out of the game. And you must always focus on the big picture. What's relevant is what have been achieved by the leader, not the minor details of the platform or options chosen. A for agency. Agency refers to the existence of a trilateral relationship, client, agency, Google. The evaluation is on a scale 5 to 1. Let's consider the level of competence and resources of the agency, its disposition regarding Google and its predicament on the client. If the agency is supportive of Google, it's always better in its place space to promote a consistent and transparent triangular relationship that also includes the creative agency. Google has always to lead the way alongside with the agency, but we shouldn't be greedy or arrogant. We must let the agency get the credit. The lower the, uh, the agency ranks, the higher will be our implication, actually, what we don't want. And important recommendation as well. Get always on board the agency team to have the global vision. Sometimes, for us, an agency could be not really significant because we don't have many clients have very few clients attended by the agency, but for Google as a whole, could be a relevant partner as they can have all the relevant clients in all the verticals. Finally, why for yield? Yield refers to the management style of the client. The valuation is got from 5 to 1, gives the best mark uh, to those clients with transactions offline and online, B2B and B2C, and that contemplate brand management without ROI being the only measure of success. The key takeaways here is if the client's attraction are an online few player, this should be made in measuring the right order or ROI. What implies the increase of SEM, SEO conversion rates, due to the increase of the brand relevance and the increase of transaction across channels. New models of ROI and attribution should be prepared to enable a comprehensive cost of distribution approach. And if not, or in another case, a 360 proposal we call quantum leap could be very useful to break the ice and keep uh, and keep going. There's an image, of, it's a graph in which all the clients, uh, Spanish uh, travel polo, are represented. You have in a glimpse that's the situation of each of them and uh, how they should be addressed so, uh, in order to uh, crack up the display. Uh, Now, we are going to focus on the, what I call virtual circle of destination sustainability. And the, the idea to share this, uh, this model with you is to give you uh, quite a straight and a useful approach when you are dealing with uh, tourism boards. As you know, in most of the cases, they are quite immature uh, arbitrages. They do not know the online field. And if they do something in the online field, it's probably with the same approach that they have in the offline media and sometimes the, the, the lack of knowledge they are confused uh, with the uh, uh, social uh, media and instead of understanding what are the core values they want to have to do they, they get as I said a little bit lost so that's important to reframe the, the, the whole situation and to give them the, the keys uh, the key a success factor of, as a tourism board. So that's why I, I, I created the, what I call the virtual circle of destination sustainability, which at the end of the day is based on a, a tourism board being able to provide a better and more accessible information, which at the end is shareable and it's correlated with our six phases of the travel process in which uh, the expiration uh, phase, which is considered the first one, links with the last one, which uh, 
the Turing phase. So, from uh, that perspective, what I have done is just uh, uh, design a, 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 a model to, 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 to put in practice, really, <coughs> what sustainability means. So, the principle which inspired <coughs> my model is quite simple and it can be summarized by the following maxim. The more and better the information, the better the decision. Therefore, uh, Bertha Circle of uh, Sustainability, or BC, BCC, BCS, sorry, can be defined as a circular sequence in which the last element is what causes the first, and a constant flow which provides feedback for the process itself, making it stronger and longer lasting. The stages of this sequence are First, better and more accessible information. Second, better decision to be carried out. Three, greater revenue. Four, better travel services. Five, better experiences uh, to be sure. And once again, better and more accessible information. Consequently, we can see how <coughs> in the model, both the beginning and the end of the circle for achieving sustainability consists of uh, placing more and better information with the reach uh, mainly of potential traveler but without forgetting to include the creators of product creation of the true operators and destination management companies. However, in the newly system environment, this category, the category should be expanded to include even more players. Given the state of affairs, when attempting to achieve a true destination sustainability, a trial provider could hardly survive in the medium or long term with a different uh, set of attributes from those of the destination, which is located, I have to remember this, one must focus efforts on providing information about the destination viewed from the perspective of that information, suitability and time, <coughs> which will in turn determine its level of credibility and its contribution to the commoditation of the destination. In the chart showing the uh, information commoditization levels, I've shown and assigned a value from 1 through 6 to the main types of information, assigning a 6 to those which lead to a higher level of commoditization, such as price, because it's a directly comparable attribute and related to the destination exclusive attributes, since it is influenced by the general development of the country's economy. On the contrary, I have reserved a value for one of one for that information which is prepared for and named a trouble is in accordance with the current threat of creating motivation to travel. For example, information of the possibility of earning diving instruction certification padding the existence of the compression chambers and other information related with the scuba diving provided on a destination will make those travelers whose travel motivation include this in terms of regard such a trip preferentially and place a highlight on it. They will therefore assess it on the basis of a set of attributes and future and not just on price. Similarly, I created an information credibility chart in which I show the sources from which information originates and which determine its credibility. In this chart, the information that comes from tourism companies has been assigned a value of 1 because it's the least reliable due to its commercial bias, whereas travelers' own experiences are assigned a 6 because no information is more credible and highly valued than that gathered on site by travelers themselves. Combining the two aforementioned charts, I have designed what I call the sustainability matrix, in which I created a relationship between the credibility, C, of information and the level of commoditization and C, which it creates for the destination, having it just as a model to the following premises. First, so sustainability is equal 0.6 multiplied by uh, or NC plus 0.4 multiplied by C. Because although the first filter for using a piece of information is credibility, and the lack of credibility may cause a potential traveler to decide not to use some content which may be of very high quality and unique. In the case of a tourism war, which is a non-profit and uh, body, credibility is highly linked to quality, specialization, being up to date and containing a wide range of contents. This is precisely what is not achieved when a destination description includes such phrases as beauty which can compare destination of your dreams and so on. Uh, second premise is credibility and commoditation levels are measured as low, medium or high, having been assigned values of 1, 2 and 3 in inverse order. In other words, high commoditization is assigned a value of 1, whereas high credibility is given a value of 3, which is why sustainability is also assigned values in a range, range from 1 to 3. The third premise is that the nine quadrants of the sustainability matrix are calculated as a sum of the credibility and commoditization values. 
or in those quadrants which have a value greater than or equal to 2, indicate a status of sustainability. The elegance of the sustainability matrix lies in that it uses a very visual way of helping one understand what quadrant of destination is seen and, most importantly, how this can be moved towards other quadrants. See high and then see low, see medium and see low, and see high and see medium. Because it helps to know whether destination troubles are caused to a greater extent by a lack of credible information on the destination or by the destination accreditation as a result of the system information. Logically, a fundamental key to its success is identifying the system information and evaluating it. I explain how to accomplish such a project goes with your the scope of Google. Nevertheless, the formula for reaching the quadrant with the highest sustainability level is always the same. Tourism more must focus on producing their own and commodity size relevant information as well as, um, as uh, making a determined commitment to promoting the production of credible information using their own infrastructure, B2C strategy, and proactively uh, disseminate both types of information amongst the various players in the travel industry so that it will eventually be used during the different stages of travel, including that of making reservations. So, B2B a strategy. Let's focus now on uh, product. Let's focus now on products.